It's Patrick Hotzel from intensivecarethome.com, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheosomies at home, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units at home, that's providing quality care for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheosomies at home, otherwise medically complex adults and children at home, which includes home BiPAP, home CPAP, home tracheostomy care for adults and children that are not ventilated, home TPN, and home IV potassium infusions, home IV magnesium infusions, and home IV antibiotics. We also provide port management, central line management, peak line management, as well as Hickman's line management. We also provide palliative care services at home. We're also sending our critical care nurses into the home for emergency department bypass services. And we have done so successfully for the Western Sydney Local Area Health District for their In Touch program. So today I have an email from Krista who says, Hi Patrick, thank you for letting everyone know about your intensive care at home service on YouTube and on your website intensivecarethome.com. I am very interested in home care for my mom, but I'm worried about the cost. I don't know where to even start with that because the doctor has told me she has osteomyelitis and will need long-term antibiotics. On top of that, she is ventilated with a tracheostomy and she's still in ICU right now and she has been in ICU for the last eight months. Is intensive care at home a viable option and what about the cost? Well, Krista, intensive care at home is definitely a viable option you know, for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies in ICU. And that's exactly the category your mom fits here because, um, you know, your mom is has been in ICU for eight months now, right? And she can't come off the ventilator by the sounds of things. She has osteomy osteomyelitis and she needs long-term IV antibiotics. So, you know, this is right up our alley. This is exactly what we do with intensive care at home. You know, you would have seen by now, and that's why you probably reached out. There's no quality of life in ICU. There's no quality of end of life in ICU, right? It's not the best environment for someone who's confined to a ventilator and a tracheostomy long term. And, you know, the other interesting question that I would have is why can't your mom be weaned off the ventilator in the first place, right? Um, can we do that at home? You know, I would need more clinical information. But the bottom line is your mom is a good candidate for intensive care at home. I'm not saying the perfect candidate because, you know, it is really for patients who can't come off the ventilator beyond the shadow of a doubt or who have a long weaning process ahead of them, right? I mean, it's been eight months now, so something's clearly not working. And some of it is simply that intensive care unit is not a conducive environment to wean someone off a ventilator because, again, there's no quality of life patients and families have no control, right? Staff, high, high staff turnover, doctors and nurses come and go all the time, whereas in a home care environment, what we do with intensive care at home, right? We create stable teams and we create teams that you are, that you approve of, you know? I mean, we are specialized in selecting the right staff for our home care clients because that's part of our skill set, right? It's part of our skill set to build the right teams in a home care environment. Now, in terms of cost, right? You shouldn't worry about the cost, and I'll tell you why, right? An intensive care bed costs around five to six thousand dollars per bed day. Okay. Let that sink in. An intensive care bed costs around five to six thousand dollars per bed day. Right? Do the maths. Um, you know, roughly 240 days, eight months, 240 days. Let's just quickly do the maths. 240 days times, let's just say, 6,000 is $1.4 million and $40,000. Let's just say for simplicity, $1.5 million, right? So do you think that someone, whoever's funding the intensive care bed at the moment, do you think they have an interest in cutting the cost of that intensive care bed by 50%? Because that's what it is with intensive care at home. It's roughly costing 50% of an intensive care bed. So there's not only a human argument in terms of improving quality of life, there's clearly an economic and financial argument in cutting the cost of an intensive care bed by around 50%. On top of that, there's the argument to free up an ICU bed, right? Your mom's occupying or has been occupying an ICU bed for the last eight months, 
right? So keep in mind that, you know, ICU beds are in high demand, high, ICU staff are in high demand. Therefore, you know, your mom going home is a win-win situation all the way around. It's a win-win situation for everyone, right? So I hope that makes sense and helps you understand, you know, how we position this for our clients and how you can position it as well. You know, and then once the funding is organized and you should not worry about the funding, it's common sense to cut the cost of an ICU bed by 50% wherever you can, right? Especially if patients and families want it, ICUs want it. You can already see your, the ICU wants your mom out. Again, it's all about creating win-win situations. Once the funding is there, you know, we'll all help you organize the equipment, you know, we'll help you organize, of course, the teams. That's what we specialize in. You know, it's much easier than you think it is because we've done it over and over and over and over again, right? So I hope that answers your question, Krista. With intensive care at home, we are currently operating all around Australia in all major capital cities, as well as in regional and rural areas. We are an NDIS approved service provider all around Australia, TAC and WorkSafe in Victoria, NIISQ in Queensland, NIISQ in New South Wales, NIISQ in Queensland, IKA in New South Wales, uh, DVA all around Australia. We also have received, and our clients have received funding through public hospitals, private health funds, as well as departments of health. Also, we are the only service provider in Australia in 2024 that has actually achieved third-party accreditation for intensive care at home nursing, which includes ventilation and tracheostomy, right? No other service provider has achieved that level of accreditation or has built the intellectual property that we have built since 2012. We are employing hundreds of years of intensive care nursing experience in the community, and I believe that level of skill in the community is unmatched in 2024 in Australia. It enables us to look after the highest security clients in the community in Australia. We're also providing level two and level three NDI support coordination, which is critical for most NDIS participants in a situation where they have a loved one in intensive care, or if you're looking for an NDIS plan, or where they have a loved one at home already with insufficient support or insufficient funding. And if you are at home already, similar to Krista's situation, maybe you are, you or your family member are on a ventilator with the tracheosome, and you realize you don't have enough support, you don't have enough funding, you don't have the ICU nurses that can take care of you or your family member properly 24 hours a day, or your family member or yourself is going back to hospital or to ICU all the time, I strongly encourage you to reach out to us at intensivecaredome.com because we keep our clients at home predictably so that you can maximize your quality of life or in some situations, quality of end of life, right? Our success rate in keeping patients at home and our clients keeping them at home predictably is very, very high. And our success rate to obtain and help with the appropriate funding for our services is also very, very high. Otherwise, we would not be in business. And if you're an NDI support coordinator and you're looking for nursing care for your participants, please reach out to us as well. If you're looking for funding for more nursing care, I also encourage you to reach out to us. We can help you with the advocacy and we also provide specialist NDIS nursing assessments. And if you are a critical care nurse and you're looking for a career change, we're currently offering jobs for critical care nurses, ideally with a postgraduate certificate in the home, in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and Albury, Wodonga, in Bendigo, in Victoria, as well as in Warragul, in Victoria. If you have worked in critical care for a minimum of two years, pediatric ICU, ED, uh, and adult ICU, and you've already completed the postgraduate critical care qualification, we would be delighted to hear from you. We are offering a tailor-made solution to our clients, which includes regular staff. Our clients won't have the same staff coming, won't want the same staff coming over and over again, because our clients are very, very vulnerable, and it's all about building those critical relationships and having regular and stable teams. So if you are potentially looking for agency work where you can come and go, this may not be the right fit for you. But if you're interested in a long-term engagement with us, and a long-term engagement with our highly valued clients and their families and building those critical relationships, then this is a win-win situation for everyone. And if you're an intensive care specialist or ED specialist, we also want to hear from you. We are currently expanding our medical team. And if you are an intensive care specialist or an ED specialist consultant and you have bed blocks in your ICU or ED, we can help you eliminate some of your bed blocks for long-term patients 
or patients have come in frequently. Frequently, We can help you take the pressure off your ICU and ED beds. In most cases, you won't even pay for it. And if you're a hospital executive watching this and you have bed blocks in your ICU, ED and respiratory wards, please reach out to us as well. Lastly, if you're in the US or in the UK and you're watching this and you need help, we want to hear from you as well. We can help you there privately. And all of that, you get at intensivecarethome.com. Call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to info at intensivecarethome.com. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families with intensive care at home and for families in intensive care. Click the like button, click the notification bell, comment below what you want to see next, what questions and insights you have. Share this video with your friends and families. I also do a weekly YouTube live where I answer your questions live on a show and you can be and you will get notification for the YouTube live if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel or if you are a subscriber to our email newsletter at intensivecarehome.com. Thank you so much for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehome.com and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care for now.